more time I spent there, the more things I got. So. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So, rainy day? Yep. I think the next three days are all gonna be rainy, so should be a good time. I did actually stop and I grabbed the tail lights off of that trailer. So we gotta get a few lights working. Um, and then we should be good with that trailer, other than we're gonna tape some of the top. Where, there, <clears throat> where there's a leak. Well, it ain't a perfect trailer, but it ain't bad. Um, alrighty. I am headed to work, grab some parts, battle some rain, and then we'll get back into it. Yep, we got the box trailer. A lot of people have said, oh, why don't you fix it, make it great, blah, 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 do everything. It's got one purpose. Take everything I got that isn't a large item, store it and then get us on to our next stop in the world in life it's definitely not a box trailer i would want to run every day but for what it is it's going to be really really good so on today's episode i stopped and went to fleet pride and got tail lights and all sorts of other things bulbs so we're going to get it going as you see yeah there's like i wouldn't run this every day and I got a little hole up in the front that we're gonna do some fixing, but the door is good, which is the big part of it. But I had a few lights that were messed up, burnt out. We're just gonna get those fixed and do the roof, make sure the brakes are good, then we'll go from it. So all four lights in the back are all the same. Got grommet. I even did get the connectors. So we'll see if the connectors that were on that are on it are good. Otherwise, we gotta just splice them in. I got, I got all the pieces for that. So, yeah, shouldn't be too bad at all. I guess we will see. But Fleet Pride had everything except for the red covers, and I said I don't know if it's that that actual size because these ones are, uh, well, these are a little more square. And I said, give me one of those covers and I'll let you know. So I got an orange cover. Ooh. So I thought I had my wire strippers. I don't. But I'm hoping that one of my brother's workers can grab me my wire strippers. And got a whole box. So got one in, but I don't want to disconnect everything and then have to figure out exactly what goes where. So yeah, hopefully... The Hopefully that works. <laughs> we'll see. He's going to get me my uh, wire crimpers. In the meantime, we haven't run out of things to do yet. <laughs> I got my work van right here. We're going to climb up on the roof. Get on that roof. And yeah. The, the hole is a little bigger than you think. It looks worse, but keep in mind, once I get wherever I'm going, I can just throw a tarp over it. I'm not that worried. So, let me climb up there. Okay, the hole is actually not that bad. It's right there. As you see, somebody did... Well, they did try to patch this. And that's actually a better... Somebody did something in the corner here. But it's sunk down right there, so... That's where it leaks in. And I'm not worried about it being sunk down as of now. Maybe with some snow load, I might be a little more worried, but... Are you worried? You're not worried. So, this stuff is all good. I believe we might wrap a little bit, but it's this one right here that's got water on it. So, a lot of people said do this, do that. Um, I know Flex Seal works, so we're going to just Flex Seal it. Probably inside and outside. Flex Seal tape. So, because it is aluminum. You guys don't stick to nothing up here, so don't fall over. Okay, use two of them. 
There was only a little, a couple of holes up in the front, but I figure that should all work out okay because if I'm driving and it's raining, it's not blown right in the front. It will stick, sticking this stuff to, yeah, stuff like that doesn't work, but we got that all done up. We'll probably get a piece of wood, push up inside of it and hold it, hold it around that so that water does run off the sides because that was the only problem with this trailer. Yeah, it would have been sweet if they didn't do whatever they did here. Well, alrighty. We're good up here at least. I do got two rolls left of it, so pretty, pretty handy. So yeah, now there's no holes. And I guess there is one right there. One little tiny one. We can fix that, but up in the front there's nothing. It's a little damp because it did rain down. So this is also handy. So if you don't know. Olight is a part of the channel. Link in the description. Most handy tool I think I've got all year is this flashlight because clip it, I can actually work on robots now. Ooh, that's actually pretty hard. Um, can actually work on robots, can work underneath stuff to clip my hat. I got some more stuff coming, so it's gonna be pretty cool. So link in the description, Olight. If you do not have a flashlight, Stop using your phone because I kept doing that and this is so much handier. And they make a smaller one. They make a ton of lights, but link in the description of the company. And I think there's a sale coming up, they told me. So they let me know and we're gonna have some cool products. So they don't only do flashlights, but they use, do guns. They don't only do flashlights, but they do other items, scopes and things like that. So go check it out. Alrighty, there is some stuff in here that we gotta clean out. Pallet, minor stuff, so we'll get a trash can. It is raining now, which is a, kind of annoying. But, this thing's gonna work out. Way better than most of the trailers that I went and looked at that were in a much, much higher uh, dollar figure, so. People wanted $1,500 for trailers that you could stick your hands to the side. But that's the market that we're in now, ain't it? Everything's stupid money. Everything. So, there is somebody that, oh, actually, I left it right here. There's people that say, oh, you gotta run new equipment. The smart people are understanding that you gotta run older equipment now. You just gotta be able to fix it, but you can't keep up with some of the new stuff or you can't rely on it. So, there's quite a lot of very good uh, farmers that I know that are buying older equipment because of that reason. I'm not saying that's everybody, but the struggles lately of, yes, the old stuff has struggles and whatnot and parts and things like that, but if you think, up, think pretty far ahead, there's a lot of tractors and a lot of pieces of equipment that are still kicking that are 40, 50 years old. This new stuff, is it gonna be kicking in 30, 40, 50 years? What is the cost gonna to be to run it when you get 10,000 hours, 20,000 hours on things that have emissions issues and whatnot? I'm not trying to tell anybody exactly what's going on, but just think about it. Figures. Friggin' starts raining heavy. So I got the brakes adjusted. I wanna make sure that actually everything moves properly. I do got somebody coming to bring me my crimpers. We're gonna have to throw a mud flap on this one. Um, it's really raining though, like really raining. Other than heat shrinking all the wires, which I gotta go get my torch, we're good. So brake light, blinker, and then they're both marker lights at the same time. So that's how it works on the trailer. As you see, this one works. Blinker does not work. We gotta get the covers for the back three lights there. They actually, I put all new bulbs in and they started working. Yeah, and I did get my box of lights, so we're gonna go through. I might have enough lights to make up the rest of it. We will see. Lights are working, so left blinker is only on right now, which is ideal. I do gotta get back up there and make sure that this cover goes on and then we'll just get them in, in red. So, but all those lights work. 
We got a few side lights, which, you know, yeah, we got to keep it legal. Yeah, those are good. That does look like a match to me. We're not going to push it all the way on. Yeah, that one's cracked a little bit, but these two are good. That will uh, make it compliant for what it needs on that. Yeah. So we spent a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars on our free trailer, and we're in a better place. That's where we're at for balling on a budget. Granted, those those thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar trailers needed all this too. So yeah, I'll be honest. My fix for down there, I can hear it dripping through. So probably shouldn't have done it in the rain to begin with, but it did slow it down. We just got to seal it up a little bit better. Do some thinking. Oh, this dark early, so it's 6.30 now. I absolutely hate that stuff. I hate that I'm working outside in the rain too. I'm soaking wet. But, all righty, trailer's in a better spot. Tomorrow I got some work to do um, early. And then hopefully we'll, uh, well, I gotta go get my flatbed. We're gonna make some phone calls, get some stuff. <sighs> yeah. A lot to do. Always a lot to do. Uh, alrighty, let me close this up. We'll get on with our day, well, our evening. Shut the lights off, take the key. You know. Here's my dilemma of the day. So last time I hooked up to the low boy, um, I had to take off his fitting off of his truck and put it on my truck because he's got the same lines running both ways. And everybody, oh, you got a zip tie, you got to do that. I don't know, not my trailer. We just run it the way it is. So instead of doing that and messing around and then having to put my fitting in it and his truck and so nothing gets in it, and I've been trying to find a fitting. It's a one inch, I believe it's a one inch. It's either one inch or a three quarter female um twist fitting i don't even know what they're hydraulic fitting everywhere's closing at like four o'clock now so i ran up to jpm which they're awesome but i know when he's by himself he's he's there till two and i didn't even think about it i was on the phone running around and uh i never never called so i got up there at three and well it was cl they were closed but called around there's tons of traffic everywhere so like going to fleet pride now is just doesn't make any sense and i should have i didn't even think about it till literally an hour ago so call the hydraulic place in marlboro they didn't have any all out of them um called 495 truck in marlboro he says i got one in my hands right now i believe and i said i will be there so go uh 30 minutes south come back up 30 minutes to get the truck ready um, and go get the low boy so that I can move some stuff and then we will be back so sharp Pete right here hell yeah so alrighty been a longer day than I expected I ran down to one farm and then I had to run two hours the other way to another farm um, the stuff that could have waited but at the end of the day, tomorrow I'm taking off, and I believe Monday and Tuesday, well, I know I'll be off Tuesday, and Monday I will probably will be too. Huh? Here's Capello. Is this Josh? Might be. Another Capello truck. Nope. So, that's the fourth one of the day. Doing big things there. So, alrighty, we're gonna jump down there. Hopefully we don't have hit much traffic coming back up. That's the that's the pain pulling in 495 I've been there before and I don't remember what I got from them I feel like it was Mac parts but I'm not sure but I want that bulldog sign someday someday I'll get to the point in my life where I can uh, just buy cool stuff so they had the hookup for me the more I spent more time I spent there the more things I got so they definitely had what I needed. And then we got a few other things to make our lives easier. Um, I'll show you when I get back and empty this box out. But 
we gotta go run get a section of pipe thread because this other one it's all in there i'm not gonna mess around taking that one out so need like two inches of one inch pipe and then we'll be good to rock and roll with that truck we'll check it over and we'll go grab the low boy so hats off to uh 495 truck for having what i needed stopped at lowe's and as i was walking in a fan walked up and said hey you watch every video it's i love it i love meeting random people um it's like one big happy family and i got awesome supporters so if you ever see me in public introduce yourself because i have gone to shows and people haven't they said oh we saw you and we never introduced yourself or something like that you look busy it's wild i'm horrible with names i'll be the first to tell you that and it is freaking bright but uh yeah I love meeting new people and this year has been absolutely awesome for the people that I've met and uh, the connections we've made to move forward for next year and the future so yeah I appreciate everybody with the support support good words all the help you guys are awesome so we're gonna jump back up hopefully there's not a ton of traffic and uh, yeah put this together that box trailer give that a little more uh, tinkering and then get moving okay here we go oversized flags no, always good to have bunch of bungee cords my wallet that's always good to have too there we go that's what we needed we're gonna put some pipe thread on that or pipe tape and then we got the covers that we were missing for up there that everybody says they were back or they couldn't get them yeah got two different sets of bungee cords Dude hooked it up. So climb up there, throw that. We'll reseal up in the front and I'll show you what I did there. I guess I'll show you that after because um, it's not dry yet. I don't want to put another coat on it. So it's probably going to be dark by the time we get back. But yeah, look at those. We got them. We're good. Everybody was like, oh, see them next week. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I do got this opened up. I did get a broom so I can broom this out after. Well, I can broom it to the back and then we'll throw everything in the trash, airing it out. It always takes longer, so, than you ever think. You ready to go? All right, load up, buddy. So let's go get this trailer. As you see, swap that out so they're both the same. That's just how the trailer was hooked up, okay? And I'm not gonna mess with his fittings, but yeah, let's go. We made it. I don't think I don't think he's used it since. He's got it on the log trailer. It's still my height, but my little lock fell in. So there we go. There we go. Woo. So now it's in. Yeah. Okay, so we're all hooked up. Ready to rock and roll. Lights are all good. Um, yeah, this trailer hasn't moved since I uh, last was here. So, backed right up, jacked it up, or look, raised the jack. That was real good because otherwise, yeah, so we're good to go. Um, otherwise, I was gonna have to grab the coupler off that one to go on this one but yeah less than ideal so alrighty let's get going home this is never a good sight came down the hill there and pretty much stopped I think it's construction but I'm not really sure oh it says car accident but I'm not sure we're gonna find out again I see Ricky's So Dick Raven, are you out here? What do we got going on? Dick! Yeah, 
waiting on some takeout. Here's my whole mindset behind takeout, or actually eating out as much as I do. So time is money to me, and I'll be honest, hourly money as you got to value yourself at a good good value so if I can take an hour and go cook myself dinner or if I can keep moving and buy $20 dinner value yourself at a certain point and a lot of people don't so there's people that are like oh you're gonna eat, go eat another sub go eat out blah 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 already it is nine o'clock at night by the time I get home I could sit down I could eat I could make dinner, I could eat, I could cook something frozen, which really isn't that great. Or I could get something hot on my way home and keep moving. So I ordered a little late as we were coming through, but I was like, what's still open? 99, so always good food. So got some steak tips, I think, but hanging out here, I was a few minutes early. And uh, yeah, I don't know what that accident was. Nick Raymond, who's a buddy, works for Ricky's. Um, yeah, they're always, they're great people over there, so. Yeah, I'll have to figure it out with him. They, I think he was there, but I don't know. He hasn't got back to me yet. So. This thing is a freaking unit, though. I, I like this trailer. I really like this trailer. So Brian did ask me if I wanted to buy it. I don't know if I want a three-axle trailer or not. I really want a two-axle, like a 28-foot well. That would be awesome. Fit a lot of things on it. I don't need heavy spec yet. And I don't, I don't think we're going to get into the point where we're hauling heavy loads, 50 ton loads, stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll buy something cool, but alrighty. I'm going to go in, get my dinner. I'll be back. Well, we made it. We're way late. I'm really annoyed. I scratched my fender right here. But she's in work clothes. Hood definitely ain't perfect, but... I scratched on the speed limit sign coming in. Three axle, it's quite long. I don't know how long this trailer really is, but I guess I'll measure it out. But then I'm gonna go eat dinner. We'll get up early, get that finished up, get my gooseneck. What else we got to do? Um, yeah, we got plenty of things to do. So, alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching along. Not a ton of content. We're gonna have some stuff coming this weekend. Well, a few videos for you guys. Um, and hopefully I'll have all my stuff back. I'll be in a good place, better place. But appreciate Brian letting me borrow this trailer. It does come in handy. So I got an idea of tomorrow, but I'm, I'll let you guys see as it comes. So appreciate you guys. Have a good one. See you on the next one.